So I think if you could just introduce yourself, say your name and, and what you do and what the company is, if you just start with you, Andy. Andy Jordan. I'm responsible for the manufacturing aspect of uh, Exacto and uh, working with Global. And this is I'm Al Swain. I'm the quality manager here at Exacto. Um, and I, I don't work with the Global so much, but I do work with Hertzler, and we're trying to get a um, uh, more visibility on our scrap data that's in Global. If I open up the Gain Seeker software, I can go into a desktop, which has already been um, established. That shows our scrap by the week and current quarter. So this takes the data that's already existing in Global, it pulls it into Gain mm -hmm. Seeker, and it runs a couple charts and reports for us. This is our defect per unit um, by week for the uh, quarter ending today. So this will be a moving chart um, that goes back for one quarter from whatever date range you pick. And, and you can see right now there's some variability in that. Um, if you were just to look at these few here, you'd probably say you're doing okay as far as the amount of variation, but you also see these points here that are quite a bit higher. Um, at least initially, I think what's going to be the most benefit to us is if you actually go into your Pareto charts. We have two of those that are set up to run. One is a uh, defect count, and the other one is a defect cost. Um, in some cases, our parts are um, high volume but low cost. Other cases are higher cost and lower volume. So we have to look at both of those because where you may see something with a count that's really high, it may not be uh, feasible to go after that from a dollar standpoint. So if we jump into our cost Pareto, um, this is the data from last week. We looked at this this morning. And all your scrap codes are from what Those are the all employees the, enter right. in all the, global. the global shop. It's right. our global shop. So the, the one thing that we looked at um, initially this morning was our uh, second item on here, which is a no cleanup on the large face. Um, we drilled down on that, and I can look at it by part number, which is what we did this morning. And I can see that these uh, two parts here that account for about 75% of that scrap are parts that we uh, they are a lower volume part, they're a higher dollar part, but what this told us is that we're actually um, having an issue with our saw operation, which okay. is our first operation okay. on our um, machine process. Now, if I drill down on that first bar on our Pareto chart for the uh, ID oversize issue, I can see that this one part number is our primary cause. I can go down through there and look at it by work center number and we see there's three work centers, um, and these first two are actually our older machines that are probably a lot less accurate than this third one. You always try to drive decisions based on data, mm -hmm. and we've always been about one step behind on our scrap data yeah. as far as making that connection. This allows us to make that connection use that data in a much more real-time environment yeah. and um, not react to something that happened six weeks ago that, gee, who remembers what happened? Mm -hmm. I don't remember what I ate six weeks ago. I sure don't know what we ran. I know what I ate. Both packages are great packages. Mm -hmm. And by us combining those two together, we're going to get the best of both worlds yeah. of you're collecting all the information, and you're trying to analyze, prioritize, and do something with the data that you have, which Hertzler has given us. Yeah. So from that standpoint, it, it's, uh, it, it's a fantastic tool that we combine to give us what we want.